Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Today we are going to be checking out Voidigo. This is a roguelike that looks pretty awesome and it's been um, in early access for a long time and it just got its 1.0 um, like full release update with a lot of new content and I've been thinking about playing this game for a while. I've been seeing other YouTubers play it and seeing it sort of in the roguelike sphere um, and then again but I've just been sort of waiting for that big content update to come before I jumped in. But it really looks like a, a sort of hectic mix between like Enter the Gungeon, Nuclear Throne and a few other um, roguelikes we've got going on. So I'm really interested to jump in and try it out and just see how we go. But I really would like to make this a more permanent series on the channel if people enjoy it. So please do let me know if you enjoy this uh enjoy this episode and I will make sure to do more in the future. I've literally never played this game before by the way. So let's get into it. Ooh. of light older than time and the keepers start to fade them on the blue skies in the blink of an eye the darkness came and tested well, turn it head fellas and even in spite of all of their might the darkness Intriguing, so not worry. We're trying to take over the light, like reclaim the light, should I say? This is just the beginning. Intriguing. Okay, but yeah, this is my first time actually getting my hands on this game, so I don't know what to expect. Uh, I've seen gameplay, but yeah, it's very, very different when you play it yourself. I really like the aesthetic of this game. You do not know who you are. I'm playing controller, by the way. I don't know if that's recommended or not, but. So you know where you're going. I just thought, because I, I know that with uh, Gungeon. Let's, yeah, let's jump into the tutorial first. There you go. And see what we got going on in the tutorial, because I'm sure I'm going to need it. Oh, we can sprint, I see. Ooh, damn. Okay. It's like a dodge roll button. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, I see. Oh, what? Oh, oh, that's a really satisfying dodge roll. Nice one. Okay, this is a pretty good tutorial too. Um, we can slap this guy with our gun as well. Okay, I've seen there's quite a lot of melee combat. Uh, you can switch weapons. Um, to find information about your weapon, you select to open the menu. Okay. Melee weapons have durability when it runs out the weapon breaks. Uh, you can attack... Okay, so I can still... Hit with a broken weapon. When the melee weapon is equipped, ammo jars will give durability. 34%. Okay. Whoa, that's a big, that's a big ass boy. Uh, most melee attacks will display their current attack over the head. You can reset back to the first attack using B. So, oh, uh, it's got like a combo meter, I see. I see, I see. You can block with RB. Oh, and it reflects as well. Nice. Oh, damn. Okay, I like that. Um, you can destroy bullets with a melee attack. Oh, dude, there's a lot of ways to, like, get around bullets in this game. Uh, bubble shield. Activate when the player gets very hurt. Calmly walk through the bullets. Mm, okay, okay. Some areas have chests to open these. You have to defeat all the enemies in the area. Let me get that key. The power. This is a power-up bundle. Interact with the player in front of the power-up for the one that you want. I'll take whatever this is. A rack and a haste. Faster movement speed. Oh god, that's creepy. And then we can go in here and go to power-ups. It's attached to your lower back and connects to your spine. Oh, god damn. 
Okay. Shards drop from defeated enemies and shimmering props. Pick them up uh, by walking near, but do it fast because they lose value over time. Oh, well, that's kind of nice that they, instead of just disappearing over time, they lose value over time. To stomp, uh... Okay, so we can... Ooh, okay. Okay, I do some stomping. Um, for a combo stomp, dodge, and then as you land on the target, use A again. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay. I like that. This is a really good tutorial. Um, when you see the eye, it means the void has locked you in. To escape, you have to stomp on it. When stomped, it creates a shockwave that hurts your enemies. Okay. Open the uh, area map with select to navigate the bigger world. Okay. I like the, the idea of the shimmering object telling you, like, what's got money in it. God damn, everything's so, like, a like the animation's so satisfying. God damn. Go down here. You have to cleanse the corruption from the beacon to leave this area. Oh, damn. Whoa. There's things like lobbing frogs at people. I want to take the stealth other instead. Um, you select certain explore areas, okay. So can I do anything more with this or is this done now? I think this is done now, isn't it? I wonder if I can like trash weapons I don't want to bring with me. You remember I can sprint as well, keep forgetting that. What a cool tutorial. Also, let's just quickly go down to sound. I've already changed the sound a little bit, but running this down to like 30%. Yeah, that's better. Oh, okay, what's going on here? Is this an enemy? Oh, what the hell? And I'm guessing this is some sort of boss. Whoa. They went whole hog with this tutorial here, holy shit. Bosses have health. This boy is protected by the void. You need to leave this area and cleanse more beacons. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. You can, like, destroy walls and stuff here as well. So. Interesting. So, like, you have to clear a certain amount of areas before you can fully kill a boss. This boss is, like, locked. What a strange uh, idea, like concept. So I've got to go up through here. And then over this way, I see. So will the boss follow me or do I have to go back to that room to kill the boss? So, hunt. now I've got to hunt the boss. Select to find out where the boss is. Okay, so the boss is back over where I was before. Got a sprint key though, that's good. I come back over here, down, and then my boss is in here still. And his health stays the same, I see. And we got him, okay. Very interesting concept with bosses uh, being gated by your progression between rooms. I kind of like that. Health exploration, and then we get whatever's going on here. You defeated the boss, you may now leave the realm uh, through the world end. That damn, this is cool. 
feed the anti void. This is camp, a small refuge in the an anti void created. Um, defeat bosses out in the world to get void fragments and grow the camp. Leaving the campies in the camp portal. Okay, so leave the camp there. Co op. Don't know what this is. Don't know what this is. How much anti void do I have? Okay, I don't have any at the moment. Okay. I see, I see. So this is all our meta progression. Really, really cool. Um, we got different characters? I did not know there was different characters in this game. What the hell? Uh, power up. Ooh, hello. Stomping the heads of multiple foes charges the power of anti-void within and landing on the ground releases it. Okay. You get... This game's got crazy stuff. I didn't know I had all this. I can change my colour. Awesome. Uh, go with like a turtle melon green. And then we've got moderate is recommended for players who are new to action roguelikes. And we've got um, rogue is best suited for players who have previous experience in action roguelike games. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with rogue. I have experience. I'll take the game's uh, word for it. A very capable queen. Under your feet, she's not buried, her kingdom is. Okay. At the minute I'm just like in the in the phase of shoot everything and see what I can get. I suppose it tells me what things have stuff in them, so I don't have to shoot everything. Okay. Is this an enemy? Oh, what the fuck? It's like a little axolotl thing. What the hell's this? Cell max health for shards. Oh my god, I've got I've been thrown into it here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, <laughs> I love this already. This is awesome. Cell max health for shards. Okay, let's not do that right now because we probably need max health, but I already like the fact that there's risk reward coming to us straight off the bat. I definitely need to still lower the volume a bit though. It's still a little bit loud. Two twenty. What's this then? Um buy ammo jar, buy health jar. Okay. A lot of enemies seem to run away from us. We got him. No, he didn't. He ran away from us again. There's some passive creatures here as well. What the hell's this thing? Some of these guys. Why aren't they dying? Okay, we got him in the end. It's fine. So we unlocked one of our uh, fragments for our boss, I see. So what was this little building over here? Enter the shell home. Room challenge. Pick a door for an additional challenge or use the door without a reward to skip. What are these little things? <laughs> okay, so defeat enemies... Defeat enemies explode into a ring of ice spikes. Um, do not touch walls and defeat enemies combust into fire projectiles. Let's try the defeated enemies explode into a ring of ice spikes. Ooh, okay. That's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting to see that my beginner weapon has ammo. That's like not common at all in roguelikes. Do I want to be jumping on things' heads more often? I think I do. Oh my god, I've been frozen. I think enemies like that, I really benefit from jumping on their head. Oh my god, I need to remember that this is a thing. 
I keep forgetting about the ice spikes. Is the room done? No, there's another enemy over here, I see. Okay. Um, to pair up the Imperial... In, in, Imperiant Sh Spelunker. Oh, this is a weapon. Whoa! And then here we've got... We've got... Bullet... Bullet War Bounce, Water Sprint During Combat, and Instant Power-Up Bundle. I think I'll definitely go for that. Yes, Bouncy Bullets, I like that. And then we just leave via this. Oh no, this is a Loot Vortex. The Harvest Sickle. We'll take both of these. At least I remember I can sprint. And then do I just leave? I think I just leave. That was fucking cool. I enjoyed that a lot. I was wondering if these gold things have any stuff in them, but like, actual gold in them, but I don't think so. Let's go through here. Oh, this weapon's cool. All right, so jump on that thing. Is there a downside to jumping on that thing early? Or am I supposed to? I like a game that has good melee options. Okay, so this is our boss. So we don't wanna we don't wanna fuck with him yet. Health jar. Dude, this thing is amazing. I don't know if Bouncy Bullets is making this thing as good as it is, but it's, it's kind of awesome. Doesn't have a lot of ammo, but it's doing a damn good job. Okay, so there, there's our third one. So now our boss is killable. I really like the jumping on heads mechanic. It's really cool. So we can go back through here now. That boss should be in here still. Yes, it is. Oh, God. This thing's not doing a lot of damage to the boss, like, at all. I thought this would do a lot more. Oh my god, this is tricky as fuck. Okay, so the boss- the boss has ran away. So now can we... So what, what's going on with this? I'm not quite sure what that, what, what that was about. Also my camera zoomed in a, a lot. So come back over here so we, so we can buy some health here. Okay, that's good. We can buy health. Right, uh, open up our map. Got a few extra rooms we can do here. Let's come over this way. Oh, what the hell? This is the proper shop, okay. We've only got ten, so I doubt we can afford much. Hello. Um Yeah, everything's pretty expensive here. Okay, let's come back here and we've got a bit more money. Potentially use that max HP trading thing to get some money, because it seems kind of valuable. Wait, what? I'm confused. Did I come out the same way I went in there? Okay, no, it's just... I see, I see. It's a room with, like, nothing in it. Ah, goddammit, that was a bad hit. 
Uh, recycle your weapon. To be fair, honestly, the, the Spelunker, I don't rate. Okay, you can't just mine your way out of a level. I was just curious to see if you could. So let's recycle our weapon. And it gives us... Ooh, okay, so it gave us HP, which is awesome. And it also gave us the Echoing Remains. Okay. Chunky boy. I like it. You gotta be careful, because they've got, the, like, with the big weapons like this, they've got a charge-up to them. Oh, dude, that charge-up is insane. But that charge-up takes forever. <laughs> We're at 18 now. Keep going this way. Have we been this way before? Oh, here's the boss again. Oh, dude. Probably isn't the right weapon to be using on this boss. It's so goddamn slow. It's doing good damage though, I'll say that. There'll be some ammo there. Is jumping on the boss like a valid tactic? No, not really. I'm sure there are builds in which that can work, but I do not have that currently. Okay, we're almost there. Good. Nice, we got it, we got it. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, 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 it's not dead, it's not dead. What, 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 what the hell happened there? <laughs> it just, it like revived very briefly and attacked me. Also, yeah. I'm gonna do this. It's risky as shit. But, like, I want I want to get going with that shop and see what we can do, because I feel like it could be a lot of fun. Definitely need an actual gun, like, rather than these weird weapons, because they're fun, but I, I really would like some, some ranged power. Okay. Let's come in here. That's what we've got going on, then. So these are all guns, I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no, some of these aren't. Melee weapons shock enemies. Burn boot attack on stomp. That's an actual weapon. Bigger clip. A brilliant friend. Increased melee durability and rat infested loot. Let's take rat infested loot. Oh, there's one of these in here, god damn it. Went all the way back and there's one of them right there. Uh, we'll take a brilliant friend. Oh, there he is, look. And... Melee weapons shock enemies. And we'll, we'll leave it at that, that for now. Okay, so where are we going now, then? We go back to this room over here with the blue skull, I think. I reckon that'll be... where we want to be going. Okay, so the boss is still here, I see. It's just like a, a new version of the boss. So when you kill a boss, it turns into like this sort of toxic version of the boss that has a lot less health by the looks of things. Okay, the boss is dead. I like my little charge buddy just chilling there. And then we've got... Beacon-powered machine gun turret. We've got 
Fire Stomp and Snake Bullets. I don't know what Snake Bullets are, but I want them. Let's, let's go check what our power-ups do. It's not actually made um, from snakes. No snakes were harmed in the making of this lotion. It's just marketing thing, we promise. It's not snakes. Oh, and we can upgrade items as well. All pots um, now have pungent smell of cheese. As a result, they're infested with hungry rats. Okay, so now I can just go to the next floor. I'm guessing that this is next floor. Okay. I'm enjoying this a lot. This is, this is really cool. Interact with the entities here to customize your build. Leave through the portal when you're done. Sacrifice power up for max HP. Ooh, I'm, I'm really liking the, the risk reward elements we've got going on here. Trade weapon for power up. Yes. I want whatever this is. Bullet ring on reload. Sacrifice max hail for three random bundles. Okay, and then we can go. Save and quit to main menu. I like that it has that. Okay, I like that little in-between floor thing. That's really cool. Some really interesting systems in this game. The spore-born lie in wait. They only emerge if you are the perfect... Really interesting. Soul. One second. Let's continue on. I'm trying to get as much as I can out of these. I'm seeing these rats. I'm guessing the rats attack enemies uh, that are nearby. I think that's how that works. My little light buddy has a health bar underneath my health bar. Oh my god, there's a lot going on already here. Are these enemies? I need some more ammo. Okay, my rats are doing some good stuff. Ooh. I got myself a prick stick. Oh no, I just knocked over my buddy, I'm sorry. Oh, we're shocking enemies now. This big skull. God damn, okay. I'm so intrigued. I'm so like, I'm exploring everything and just figuring out the world. You know, whilst I've done that with a roguelike, it's nice. I kind of like the jumping on the head thing. It's pretty damn cool. Also, the telegraphing in this game is kind of ace. Oh my god, these rats. I like it. Uh, trade weapon for power up. Honestly, yes. This thing's running out of ammo. It's good, but... And we get um, dodging spikes. I'm going to guess that just means it makes us immune to spikes. The whole world is booby trapped, but you know how to dodge. Yeah, keep it going. Oh my god. I think it's crazy, but these rats are just so good. I'm loving these rats. Oh, damn, my little light bulb buddy gave me some stuff. Okay, I'm going down from here. Figuring out navigating between the rooms is difficult. Ooh, did we just take damage from being in this room? What the fuck was that about? This guy needs to go. We got that one second. Oh, geez, let's continue on. Okay, what was I doing here? What are you? Okay. Oh, you've got a beastie inside you. Oh, and here's the boss. Okay, so we don't really want to be near the boss yet. Let me let me get away from you for now. Come back over this way. Get all my rats going. 
Okay, so is that the boss done? No, 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 there's more lock zones. There's like more locked off areas with this boss. I'm guessing they increase as the floors go on. My rats. The rats are amazing. Okay, these guys are going to be kind of tricky. I could have said just let, let the rats do everything. <laughs> oh my god, I really enjoy jumping on the head. Okay, the boss can chase me. Good to know. Didn't, didn't know that was a thing the boss could do. The boss can chase me. Okay, just trying to figure out our space here. We've already done this room. Go down twice. Hey, here's our shop. Okay, we actually got a good bit of money here, so let's check in here. Um, bullets travel towards the direction you point. That's pretty interesting. 30% longer rats and one more rat bounce. Upgrade rats. Health pickups also heal companions. Oh, my, my little dude's dead right now. Okay. Weapon there. Two more bounces. 30% more max health. Chance to spawn exploding crystals on impact. Let's upgrade our rat loot. Let's upgrade our bounces. Let's upgrade our light bulb. And then let's buy a weapon. Give ourselves the crossburn. See how that does. We'll stick with our melee for now. I was gonna say I don't think I can jump on those heads safely. There we go, we did that. Not many enemies about, I'm noticing. Yeah. Gotta get used to which enemies I can jump on the heads of and which ones I can't. Okay, this, this crossbow is doing some weird stuff. Good, get you out of the way. Okay, let's do some good damage though. Let's do some good damage. Especially if we get up close and personal. I've kind of got to stay close with it, I think. Ah, oh, damn it. Bad hit. Some ammo go in there. Get my little lightning buddy go in as well. This is a cool boss fight. Okay, so is he is he just buggered off to another room now? Is that what's happened here? I think that's the case. Okay, our stick's almost dead now. Recycle your weapon. Yeah, let's do that. I've got the kick stick. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, where are we going now? Still going up this way. Kick stick, I love it. Some re really Gungeon esque weaponry here. Oh, I can feed the void, I see. You get it? No, it's still not dead. There you go, now it is. Feed the void. Feed the void. Oh my god, knocked me flying. And it gave me a, a machine gun and bullets do sharp turns to avoid walls. Okay. Got a machine gun now. Enter the funky smelly cave. Okay, another challenge room, I see. Defeated enemies, but combust projectiles. Mm. 
Let's try this one. Oh my god. A lot of fire. Oh god, I almost just died. Are we good? We did it. Let me get one of these as well over here. Spirit assist on kill. Um, ricochet lit. We'll save whatever this is. Okay. There we go. I'm liking the companions. We got another one there. Okay. Bit scary, but we're okay. Uh -uh. Okay. Go this way. I've not been this way before. Oh my God, it's definitely quite hard to keep a track of things. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, so now we want to go back down to where the boss is. More health there. Didn't even see that. Lovely. Game seems fit reasonably generous with giving you stuff, though. Like, it's not super hard to come by HP. That boss should be in here, right? Yeah, there you go. Bollocks. Got hit by it straight away. Okay, I think I'm on fire. I gotta jump to get a fire off me or something? I don't know. You could get off the thing where, where health is sold, please. Ow, what the fuck? Oh, he's still there, that's why. What the HP? Yeah, there you go. We got it, we got it. What does that do? Does that, like, just give me some consumables, or does that, like, lower his HP or something? Because it seems to be one of them in every boss room. I'm not really sure what they do. Oh, here's my little turret thing. Um, so where is he now? He's gone... Oh, he's, he's just absolutely retreating right now. We need to go chase. And he's in here. There's other enemies in here too, so let's be careful. Oh god, the boss got me. There's health there. There's enemies everywhere. This is so hectic. I absolutely love this. Throwing sound at him. Got some more HP there. God damn. I need to get better at like sprinting and dodging around. Almost got him. This game is so hectic, I love it. Okay, first stage done. Get that health real quick. But then there's you. So all bosses are going to have this two stage thing by the looks of it. My god. Yeah, so what, what is this thing? I need to figure out what that is. Also, there's a, a little hut here. More HP there. 
Oh, it's just another challenge room. Do not move when the traffic light is red. We did it. Whoa! Fully heal and full armor and dur dur durability. Okay, that was useful. Didn't know that was what that, that was, was going to be, but I'm happy with it. Melee weapons burn enemies. Soul boost attack on stomp. Beacon powered. Yeah, we'll take another turret. Now we can just leave this area, I think? Yeah, that's our hut done. We'll take that out first and see if it helps. Don't exactly know what to expect from this guy. Seems like the second phase is like more aggressive but a lot less health. Okay. This is crazy. I'm really enjoying this game so far. Take out this lad. Oh my god. We'd be better off using this thing. My turrets can, like, get over here, please. So he's making his way over there now. Please go on the chase again. More HP there. Wow, we're getting. Like, the HP drops come. Kind of fast and loose. Oh, here he is. Should be able to get him here, I think. Like I said, the telegraphs are really good. Okay, we got him. Another boss defeated. And then we get ourselves. Honestly, just go for the rats. Max level rats. Oh. The fuck is going on? <laughs> that was so confusing. Um. Okay. Exit out of this world. Got diggity damn. Don't think we want to do much here. Sacrifice power up for max HP. Nah. Feed the void. We'll do that. There you go. Okay, so that was just a buttload of HP in one of these big ghosts. Okay. Next floor. I think getting to the third floor on the first run's pretty good going, to be honest. Pretty good going. More HP here as well. Do not be fooled by those big friendly eyes. They hide. Oh god. Already been hit. Oh god. Already been hit twice. Yeah, these enemies are a bit harder. I need to remember to get my dodges going. Oh god. Oh my lord, this is so intense. What the hell is this little gnome doing? Quickly jump back to the starting room and get some of that HP. Thank you. Oh god, yeah, this, this boss has so many more potential, uh, sections look. But each floor that definitely does increase. 
Whoa, what the fuck? What are you? Came up the ground onto me. The rats are helping a ton. What the fuck? Do you see that little thing just crush that guy? There's a lot of these rooms. Don't touch the walls. Don't stomp on anything. I can do dirt stomp. I, I think I can still jump though, right? Ah, oh, That was so stupid. <laughs> can I just leave now? No, I can't. <laughs> Immediately I was just like, okay, stomp. Oh god. Oh god. Enemies are crazy. Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay. First death, but a pretty good first run, I'd say. And we get ourselves eight of these things. Back to camp. Okay, and then we can go into here, right? I'm guessing this is the first place we want to go. Then we're gonna enter the abandoned tent. We need eight for that. Oh, we got five left. Okay, so we can get a new starting weapon. Let's this. This one looks cool. We'll go for this for now. The best after. I like it. Okay, so we've unlocked a new starting weapon. Do I have to select it? Okay, no. Either way. We've got some good stuff going on here. I think this will do for the first episode. I hope you guys did thoroughly enjoy and let me know if you want me to keep playing more of this game because I'm I'm really enjoying it thus far and I would definitely go for uh, more of this if people enjoy it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.